Are cat bites and scratches as dangerous as people think? Can they transmit serious infections like rabies or cat scratch disease? The answer depends on one crucial factor. Is your cat vaccinated? Welcome to another informative episode from your trusted Sarban Veterinary Services YouTube channel. Today we're talking about cat bites and scratches, what they really mean, when to worry, and how you can treat them safely at home. Whether you're a pet owner or a vet student, this video will simplify a confusing topic and help you deal with minor injuries confidently. Let's start with the basics. Cats are territorial by nature. They may bite or scratch during play aggression, fear or anxiety, overstimulation, or due to medical conditions like pain or neurological problems. The bites and scratches can be minor surface wounds or, in rare cases, deep punctures. Here's the good news. If your cat is fully vaccinated, especially against rabies and feline leukemia virus, the risk is extremely low. But some concerns still exist. Cat scratch disease caused by Bartonella henselii, localized bacterial infections, and tetanus, which is rare in cat bites, but more dangerous in deeper wounds. Cat bites and scratches can transmit infections to humans, especially immunocompromised individuals. So awareness and hygiene are crucial. If you or someone gets scratched or bitten, look out for redness or swelling that increases after 24 hours, pain or pus formation, fever or chills, and enlarged lymph nodes, especially in cat scratch disease. In vaccinated cats, the chances of serious disease are rare, but minor infections can still occur. Now let's talk about what you can do immediately at home. For scratches, wash with warm water and mild antiseptic soap. Apply aloe vera gel or turmeric paste, as both have natural antibacterial properties. Use betadine solution diluted with water if the scratch is deep. Avoid bandaging minor scratches. Let them air dry. For minor bites, flush the area with clean water for 3 to 5 minutes. Clean with an antibacterial solution like chlorhexidine or betadine. Apply neem oil or tea tree oil in diluted form. Keep the area clean and dry. Note. Do not apply ointments without cleaning the wound first. This can trap bacteria inside. When to seek a doctor for humans? If you have deep puncture wounds, worsening pain or redness after two days, fever, lymph swelling or pus. Also, if the bite or scratch is near the eyes or joints, it's important to get medical attention. If your cat shows aggressive or erratic behavior after biting signs of pain, fever or infection near the claws or teeth, or if the cat is unvaccinated or astray, then a vet check is necessary to rule out underlying infections. Handle your cat gently. Don't force affection. Recognize early warning signs like tail lashing, ear flattening and growling. Avoid rough play with hands. Use toys instead. Trim claws regularly. And of course, vaccinate your cats on schedule. If you want to learn more about dangerous infections from cats, don't forget to watch our videos on bacterial infections in cats, viral infections in cats, and fungal infections in cats. Just click the cards and links above or at the end of this video. Most cat bites and scratches from vaccinated and healthy cats are not serious, but you still need to clean them properly and stay alert. Your pet's vaccination status is your best shield against panic. If you found this video helpful, like, share and subscribe to at Sarban Veterinary Services. Don't forget to comment below if your cat has ever scratched you and what you did about it.